Hello my dear students and friends. Uh, welcome to my session on PLC in 21 days. We are on day 14. Uh, in today's session also we will see about the PLC with HMI touch screen interface. So yesterday also we saw about uh, linking PLC with HMI. Now uh, we will see some more in uh, linking PLC with HMI actually. So these are the things that we have used already, right? So now here let me open in my JX developer, let me open day 13 program. This is what we have seen either pressing X0 physical input or the auxiliary input uh, uh, M101. This is controlled by HMI of course. So this will function. Okay. Mm, now I'll save this as I'll save this as day 14 okay then um, I here you see that I used to m101 m02 yeah m0 m1 only those to m1 m0 m1 m11101 only these things I used see I can have any number of sets actually I already said see if you see this particular program it has 93 steps as far as this uh, fx 1 and 14 MR PLC is concerned we can go up to 3000 steps 3000 steps if I am correct so we use only uh, not even uh, one percent right now let me open so this uh, let me save it let me save it let me open a timer program a timer blinking let me copy it so m0 t0 it is a loop right this I don't want timer 3 let me see m0 t0 m1 t1 m2 t2 m3 t3 m4 t4 ok so uh, 0 1 2 3 4 there are 5 timers t0 timer 1 t1 timer 2 t2 timer 3 T4, uh, T3, timer 4, T4, timer 5. So this will blink at M0, M2, M4. M1 and M3, uh, this will not be functioning. Let me copy everything. Let me paste it. I will copy this uh, content and let me close this one let me open my day 14 program let me input this function ok let us check instead of x0 let me put uh, m102 m102 uh, here also again I used M0 and M1 you know so instead of M0 M1 let me replace this one T0 also should be replaced here so T0 means uh, let it be T10 here T10 M0 let it be M10 this is not one M10 m10 t10 because same notation should not repeat that is why for this one for this one I used m0 to m5 so same m0 same m5 should not repeated in this block so that is why I am renaming it to 
T10 series. T10, T11, M11, 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 T11. Okay, that's it. Again, uh, there is one more thing. Let me check once again. But anyway, let me tell you, the same Y zero should not be repeated again and again. Mm. Let me insert. So M zero. It's a straight line. Again Y zero. Second time the Y zero is appearing. That should not. That should not be the case. But anyway, we'll check it. M four. Actually, uh, let me compile. I'm a bit faster. Uh, you see, there are two blocks. If you press. In the touch screen, if you press, uh, the, I'll assign one button for M one not one. This M one not one will run this block. So it will run up to this, up to this. Up to this. Okay, uh, there is another block. This M one or two is assigned with uh, the uh, M zero uh, another set. This is another set. This will switch on Y zero alone in M one, M two, M four duration. Okay. So this is the thing. Let me add one more uh, thing also. Okay, three buttons. Let us use uh, this one. You know. Okay. Insert. Let me erase this one. Let me erase this vertical line also. This one straight. This one straight. This is Y zero. Uh, this is M one or three maybe. So I'll be inserting three buttons in the HMI now. M for one for controlling M one zero one. Second controlling M one zero. I'll go for this. For this. M zero M one zero one one button at the HMI. For this M one or two, for this M one or two again uh, a second button. Uh, for M one or three, uh, a third button. Button is these are the things. Here this is uh, if you press this one, all the six LEDs. We be sequentially switching on. That is a program for button one. For button two, LED is one, two, three alone will blink for point eight seconds three times. Second button, HMI screen. Third button, if the if it is pressed on, the LED will be on. Uh, for this, what I'll do is for M one zero one and M one zero two, I'll Fix those buttons as momentary. This one as toggle. Okay, so let me switch on my uh, PLC. Uh, 
then uh, I am about to compile this particular program. Let me compile first. Before fusing the program onto the PLC, connection test must be carried out. Connection test is not proper. Uh, let me go to device test, device manager. Uh, COM 4 and 9. Now I am inserting my cable. Let me see what happens. Yeah, COM 8. Uh, let me close. It is in COM 8 only. Now let me go for connection test. It is successful. Okay. Now let me fuse the program in the PLC. Right now, I am writing this code onto the PLC now. Let it let it let it go now. In the meantime, I will open my Samdra program. It is the package for HMI programming. Let me open the previous day program. This is the previous day program. I am saving it as Two thousand twenty day fourteen program okay so let me put uh, uh, if you want you can see now you see that let me tell you momentary m one out one let me see yeah this is finished. let me close this is finished is supposed to work if it is not working I'll tell you later how to correct it okay now if you want you can change the shapes also You see, I can have a different shape. Okay. Oh, sorry. What happened? Okay. Let me create a new button, bit button. So it is M101. 101. Momentary monitor. M101. The color, shape. It doesn't matter only it is that is only for outer look. Okay. For the off state, the background is red in color. For on state, the background is maybe in the green in color. Let me keep it in off. The label for this uh, off is uh, uh, let this be white, somewhat bigger, bold italic. And for status one, be black, thirty-two, bold italic. Let me draw something. Yeah. So off means red, on means green. But it is momentary. You cannot, you won't see this uh, green color, since it is momentary. Okay, now let me copy control C and let me put control V for the second button. Let it let me keep somewhere here, somewhere here. Okay. Uh, for this let me have a, a different uh, shape and the other things. Okay. Uh, this is M M102. M102 momentary of one shape on another shape okay a yeah, shaded one it is an off state 
a slight difference I introduced. Let me con copy control C and control V, copy paste for the third button. Uh, third button, it is invert. Okay, if I press, the status will be altered on to off or off to on. This is very important for the third button because here if uh, it, it is this I am linking with the only one or three no if I press here it is pressed permanently that means Y0 will be on permanently so that is the logic okay so that is uh, for that I will be using a different uh, thing uh, I can go for uh, let, let us say a different shape this time okay let me see what happens yeah yeah round shape maybe or uh, if you stretch this way it will become elliptical let it be rectangle so again let me, this is the first button assigned with m101 momentary second button momentary assigned with m102 third button assigned uh, as invert assigned to m103 okay so let me compile my program okay let me compile the program so first let me save it then compile it compile successfully again I save it then I am going for compile plus download now I started downloading you see download is download is progressing now so downloading is progressing here in both the places then so downloading is completed all right now restart Now the program is fused but uh, when I was uh, testing it uh, but it is not uh, running properly because I already told the Y's and all y, Y0 especially Y0, Y1, Y2 and all should not be uh, shown again and again and again and again that is the problem in the Y0 you see it appeared three occasions one two and three so this should not happen like this so what I can do is here let me bring let me bring one more thing m uh, 199 baby m199 baby baby this M99 is linked with M103, M199. So that Y0 appeared only two places now, two places now. Then here, here, let me use uh, M200, 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 okay m200 because all other things uh, let it be uh, y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and all used only once so that won't be a problem that won't be a problem okay now let me copy and i i'll make this as 200 m200 okay now let me compile so now y0 is uh, now y0 appeared in only one one place not in three places previously up it appeared in three places now it appears in one place like this you can have you can have you can have many set that is the beauty of uh, this PLC along with uh, the uh, uh, HMI okay let me compile let me fuse the program now let me fuse the program
now it is fused in the meantime this also this program is also fused if this function if, this, if i press this one all six leds in sequential it will uh, it will it will be on sequentially if i press this one only first bulb blinks three times this one if you press one it is on permanently if i press again then only it will be off so the program is fused you allow me to some allow me for some time to take the video of this output okay i am passing the video now okay again i repeat uh, the first button if i press it is a momentary button m 101 is invoked so all six leds one after the other it will it will be on and off sequentially then this one again it is a momentary button m 102 this what it will do is uh, it will invoke this function uh, it will blink the led first led alone three times blinking the third one it is a toggle uh, invert button if i press once it becomes off becomes on if i press again on becomes off so in that case the led will blink only uh, your first led will blink uh, will be on permanently shall we see it in action now let us see it in action so this is the setup plc led 6 leds it is a auto power off mode so let me switch off so first button second button third button right at the time of pressing it will change green in color okay let me see yeah i am i am about to press now now i pressed the six leds will blink the fourth led is not working of course now i press and hold now you see the color change yes then the second one if i press this one first led will blink three times one two three the third one now i pressed and removed my hand it, is, it has changed a green color invert color on and this is on this one that on permanently if i press once again on becomes off invert off again if i press on okay so like that uh, one biggest advantage in hmi is uh, you need not have use the physical inputs actually uh, in the word file i'll show you this x0 x1 actually not required even if you press x0 that will invoke this function actually so x0 is assigned here you know x0 uh, that function will come in uh, will be in action so but everything can be done in the touch screen so like this you can write uh, any complex program okay you can uh, carefully you have to play with uh, the uh, auxiliary relays m okay again you repeat the right side the y's y0 to y5 should appear only once then auxiliary relays also if you use m10 in this block in the other block you should not use m10 the same m you should not use so these are some of the things hope uh, you have understood about uh, more on uh, using plc linking plc with hmi uh, using uh, putting up some more screens uh, some more buttons right like that you can have any number of buttons actually right thank you subscribe my channel you'll have more learning through my channel especially on plc hmi also i think uh, hmi you won't get uh, uh, this kind of uh, simple uh, teaching in any of the youtube channels actually subscribe my channel inform this to your uh, uh, students and uh, your faculties so then uh, they'll also uh, get some benefit uh, through my session actually thank you